Why spend big on a new build when you can transform an old laptop into a powerful home server? It's cost effective, efficient, and perfect for beginners. Are you thinking about setting up your first home server but are worried about the cost? Buying a used or slightly damaged laptop can be a smart, budget-friendly choice. You can snag a fully working laptop for under 200 bucks with solid specs. Retired enterprise laptops are often available for less than 150 and with decent specs that can handle most of the tasks you throw at them. Look for 8th gen Intel or Ryzen 3000 or newer. These generations have been retired by companies and are being resold for cheap online. Even four parts laptops, like those with broken screens, are perfect since you don't need the display. Try filtering by four parts for not working on eBay or search for broken screen and be sure to read the description. You can run them headless and score one for 100 bucks and they'll be able to handle most server tasks without even breaking a sweat. The best part? Because laptops have batteries built in, you get a UPS included for free. No need to buy an expensive battery backup to keep your server up when the power goes out. My laptop home servers have been up for over two years. I highly recommend you opt for an enterprise grade laptop, think Lenovo ThinkPad, HP EliteBook, or Dell Latitude. These are more robust in both hardware and software compared to their consumer counterparts like the IdeaPad or Pavilion. Setting it up is a breeze. Download a terminal-only Linux distro like Debian, burn it to a flash drive, run the install, and set up SSH. You can be up and running in less than 30 minutes. Without the overhead of Windows or a graphical desktop, it's surprising how fast older hardware like this runs. Now what can you do with your new server? Host a Plex or Jellyfin server for media stream? Streaming, set up a Samba file share, run Nextcloud for self-hosted cloud storage, manage your own email server, host your own website, or even run Minecraft or Terraria servers. You can even explore using Docker or Kubernetes to use it as a compute node. This is why I tell prospective home lab builders, 